Well, the Sleep On Side Stillbirth Prevention Campaign was launched late last month and was developed by the University of Auckland and Ministry of Health and in partnership with Cure Kids. Now, this is a public health campaign providing vital information that could reduce the number of stillborn babies during the late stages of pregnancy. Now, we are now joined by the lead of this initiative, the University of Auckland's Professor Leslie McCowan. Welcome, Leslie. Thank you. It's lovely to be here. It is really mm. nice to have you here. First of all, let's talk about what, what is the actual definition of stillbirth? Well, from the point of view of sleeping on the side, it's a baby that dies before birth after 28 weeks of pregnancy. So in the last three months of pregnancy, we're, mm. we're talking about. Oh, uh, yeah. harrowing mm. even just it's thinking a, about it. It's a tragedy. It's a tragedy for mm. the woman, the family and the wider community. Yeah. And how common is stillbirth in New Zealand? Well, about 160 babies die before birth after 28 weeks in wow. New Zealand every year, so it's a large number. But, and mm. it's, it's a relatively silent problem. It's not talked about enough. It's not really, is it? Um, because I think this is the first time that we're having the discussion. So how did the campaign come about and, and why now? Okay. Well, we started doing research to try to identify ways of, of reducing the problem in the early 2000s. And we published a paper in 2011 that showed that women who went to sleep on their back had a threefold increase in risk of stillbirth. And nobody believed it. It was the first time that this had ever been investigated. And so we got on and we did further research and we also also did um, studies to understand why this happens and so we now understand that when a mother lies flat on her back um, it interferes with the blood supply um, through a major vein that we call the vena cava which is um, here and it, it, so when the mum's on her back this vein is almost completely occluded and also the aorta which is the main artery in the abdomen is also reduced so this reduces the blood supply to the baby even in a healthy pregnancy but there's now several studies that show that women who go to sleep lying on their back have an increased risk of stillbirth. So you're really leading the way, so you had to wait well, we, for other people to do the research well, as well. And we, well, we had to do another, we did another study ourselves, but now the evidence is really compelling. And the good news is that women can change the way they go to sleep themselves, and they already have. They've, mm. they've taken on board the results of the early research, and more women now go to sleep lying on their side than they did um, in 2011. So. Um, yeah, women can do so it. That's good. Yeah. I'm interested though, how many women, did you have a number of how many women would sleep on their back? It's about 10% of the population still go to sleep on their back. The majority of women feel more comfortable when they go to mm. sleep on their side. And it doesn't matter whether it's left or right, they're equally good. And so we recommend that for every sleep, women try to settle to sleep on their side. If they wake up on their back, which happens, don't worry, just settle back to sleep on, on, on your side. Mm, I couldn't even I couldn't even go near my back. It was it was side or nothing. Oh no, I was kind of, I, I was I was curious about that because wouldn't it be the most natural yeah. place to lie? It is, it's the most comfortable um, position. And some women feel dizzy lying on their back, mm, which right. is because of this effect on the on the blood vessels. Mm. So what? So we, we've talked about what's so dangerous about sleeping on your back. Obviously, the constriction after 28 weeks of, of pregnancy. Do you have any tips for women who maybe are back sleepers? Maybe they're watching now, going, "But I, that's the only way I can get to sleep." How can you change? Um, we've actually surveyed quite a large number of pregnant women who live in South Auckland, and we asked them if they could change their going to sleep position. And the large majority of them said that they could without any physical aids, but it's quite common for pregnant women to go to sleep with a pillow behind their back or under their tummy. And so use a pillow and try to get comfortable. Um, if you're not comfortable on your left side, try your right side. But most women actually can get into a comfortable position on, on their side. Mm. I should also emphasize that the risk with going to sleep on the back is not huge, but it's double the risk going to sleep on the side. Okay, you some great information. And as a male, what, what can we do to help? Well, I think it's really important that the broader community and whānau know about this so that, you know, men can say, you know, to their partners, you know, you know give them a bit of a mind. Remember, yeah, 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 yeah. Back, you know, go to sleep on your side. Particularly, uh, women may sleep in un unsafe or less safe positions when they're having a nap during the day, curled up on a couch where mm. you can't get onto your side and those sorts of things. So we're trying to recommend it for, for every sleep. 
Oh, excellent. Sleep on your side. Yeah. It's an easy fix. Thank mm. you so much for stopping by. Now, for more Pleasure. information about the Sleep On Side Stillbirth Prevention Campaign, you can check out the website or speak to your doctor, midwife or your obstetrician.